Here at Mount Rothwell, we um, aim to develop an ecosystem, a working native ecosystem, uh, how it was pre-European settlement. So the entire goal is basically to fence the area, remove all the foxes, remove all the cats and any other pests we've introduced and basically reintroduce uh, native endangered marsupials. Uh, some of our key species that we have at Mount Rothwell are eastern quolls, um, brush-tailed rock wallabies, uh, rufous betongs, eastern barred bandicoots, southern brown bandicoots and the list goes on. We've got plenty, plenty of animals that were endemic here. Um, where we specialise is pretty much uh, setting up a wild space for animals to become wild I guess. So um, they breed on their own terms, they have access to all the resources, they choose their own mates, they're exposed to all the elements and all the threats um, and then we pretty much just harvest when they reach capacity and overflow into other, other areas or other sites. We're actually holding uh, species here that don't exist outside of our boundaries so we have 80% of the world's mainland eastern barred bandicoots. Uh, we have the only free-range population of um, eastern quolls on the mainland of Australia and um, we have pretty much the most successful breeding program of brush-tailed rock wallabies. Uh, so without those animals and without Mount Rothwell here, um, those species will be in a fair bit of danger.